He lifted her high in the air. He sniffed and roared and smelled her there. Travelling north to the wall, Bran and his companions meet a Liddle in the hills. The man indicates that the Bastard of Bolton is offering gold for wolfskins and for word on the walking dead. Later, Mira Reed tells a story of a hero who might have been a Cranagman, judging from other characters in the story, presumably Howland Reed, during the year of the False Spring. This Cranagman had left Greywater Watch and visited the Green Men on the Isle of Faces. Returning home, he stopped at Harrenhal for the Great Tourney, where three squires accosted him and mocked him for his short stature, knocking him to the ground until he was rescued by a she-wolf. The story names no names, but from their references we can work out who they are. The story tells of Jamie Lannister being named to the Kingsguard despite his father's absence, as Tywin had recently resigned as Hand of the King. The Wild Wolf had asked Ashara Dane, one of Princess Elia's ladies-in-waiting, to dance with his shy brother. The pup offered the Cranagman some armour so that he could take his vengeance on the squires during the tourney, but the little man turned him down. The Cranagman prayed to the old gods, and the next day at the tourney a mystery knight, called the Knight of the Laughing Tree, defeated the knights whose squires had wronged the Cranagman. Instead of collecting a ransom for the three defeated knights, the mystery knight asked them to teach their squires honour. The Knight of the Laughing Tree disappeared before he could be unmasked, despite the fury of King Eris II. The tourney was won by Prince Rhaegar, but Mira ends the story by saying what happened next is a sadder tale that deserves its own telling. Bran has never heard this story before, and both reeds are surprised that Lord Eddard never related it to them. I demand a trial by combat. <laughs>